In this video, we're going to look at eight possible SBA topics and how to figure out hundreds more. So the SBA is short for school-based assessment and really it's kind of just a math project that you're supposed to do. It's an opportunity for you to see math in the real world and not just doing it in an exam or on a paper. It's usually done in groups, you know, and it's worth 20% of your CXE grade. So if you can master this, then that 20% for you is sure for the exam. So, you know, that sounds pretty good. One of the most important things you have to remember though is that it should be based on a topic in maths, not soci. It's, you can't take a soci SBA and repurpose it for math. It has to be math based. So you can think about topics like statistics, arithmetic, trigonometry, geometry, volume, measurement, anything in math is what you need to do for your SBA. So the million dollar question is, what should I choose as my SBA topic? Listen to me carefully. Anything, anything that you want, you can use for your SBA. I'm gonna show you four ways that you can come up with your SBA topics. One way is to choose something popular, something that a lot of people are talking about. For example, a lot of people have been talking about if music affects teenage behavior. You could be an SBA on that. You could probably find out how music makes people feel, what type of music they listen to, what type of music they listen to when they're in certain moods, like if they're sad or if they're happy or if they're in love. And you could tally those results and analyze them to come to a conclusion. Another thing people are talking about is COVID-19. You could do an SBA on how soon the Jamaican population is going to be completely vaccinated. You could draw some of that information online. You could find out what the vaccination rate has been over the last few months, and then you can put that data on a graph. When you put it on a graph, you can see the type of line that it makes, and then you can use that to continue the line and predict when the population could possibly be 100% vaccinated. A second thing that you could do your SBA on is on something that you always wanted to know about, something that always made you curious. For example, let's say that there was some building downtown that you were interested in finding out how tall it is, because that's what regular people do, right? Then you could get a clinometer, that's this device that they use to measure angles, and you could look up at the top of the building, measure the angle that is formed, measure your distance from the building and use that to calculate its height. You could repeat several trials to help you figure out exactly how tall the building is. That's an SBA in trigonometry right there. Here's another idea. What if you always wanted to paint your room, right? Or paint somewhere in your house or your school or whatever it is. You could find out how much square feet or how much square meters the wall takes up. You could find out how much paint costs per square feet, how much for a can of paint, and then you could draw some diagrams to show us the walls that you're going to paint and the areas, and then calculate how much it would cost in total. A third thing that you could do is something that can help you in real life. Something that can help you, for example, to win games if you're a sports person. If you play basketball, right, you could do an SBA on what is the best angle to throw a ball when taking a free throw given a person's height. You could even use your own height to do that calculation. You could do a few videos of you taking free throws and for the successful ones, you could model it on a quadratic graph and then see what angle you should set it at so that you can get the best results. If you like football, you could do an SBA on where is the best place on the pitch for a left-footed player to take a free kick. You could take free kicks at different places on the pitch. You could even create like a little map where it shows the most successes. And based on those trials, you could figure that out. Another way to make your SBA is to carry out some research on a business idea that you have. For example, what if you wanted to know the most popular clothing brands in your community? You wanted to know if some people prefer 
Tommy Hilfiger, if they preferred Polo, Armani, or whatever they like. You could carry out a questionnaire, do some research, figure out your favorite brands, and then use that information to start a clothing store or a clothing business in your area. What if you wanted to start a delivery service? You could do an SBA on finding out how viable a grocery delivery service is in your community. Or not even a grocery delivery service, just any delivery service. You could find out from persons in your area what type of items they would like to be most delivered, what are their habits in going to restaurants, in going to the grocery store, and all those different places. And then you could look at some of the expenses that are involved in the business. Afterwards, you could compare the expenses to the possible revenue and profits, and then decide if it makes sense to start the business and what items you should deliver. So those are eight ideas just right there off the bat of an SBA topic that you could choose. What SBA topic are you thinking about? Let me know in the comments. Something that you say might inspire somebody else. As a matter of fact, learn how to do your entire SBA from introduction to conclusion at mymathcamp.com. You can check it out. But I have some other videos here on YouTube that talks a little bit more about the title, the introduction, and the method of data collection. You can check those out too.